What's up, YouTube? Firebase version 9. Things you must know, okay? Because if you don't know them, you're going to be in trouble. You're probably thinking, hey, what's up with the stash, cause? Why am I learning today from Ron Jeremy? Well, that's not what I'm here to answer, all right? What I'm here to answer is how can I help you become a really awesome developer, okay? So a couple of things that I want to talk to you about, okay? So welcome, welcome, everybody who's live. If you're not live, I love you anyway. Smash that like button. Let's freaking get right into it, okay? So hopefully my face is going to be in. There we go, okay? Now we got some uh, action going on. So I want to just give you a micro lesson. It's not prepared. It's just completely live. And we're just going to play, you know, and go off the seat of our pants here. So a couple of things I want to share with you, right? So if you were using React before, I want to show you what's the difference between version 8 and version 9 of Firebase. So how you've been using Firebase your whole life, things have just changed permanently. And you better start using this new way because it's going to make your app so much freaking better. All right. So if there's any time to learn it, that time is now. And that's what I'm here to share with you. Now, there are a lot of nerdy reasons for why you should use Firebase version nine. Like there's uh, it's tree shakeable and your code is going to be smaller and faster. I want to just show you all the stuff you need to know. So here we go. So remember, we used to have our uh, config files, right? So let's go to our config files and our config files you're used to seeing something like this, right? Boom, you have a Firebase config. Now, you can have initialize app at the top like this, but this is the new way of doing it, right? Before, if you've ever seen our tutorials, you might have seen us doing import Firebase from Firebase, right? And then we just export that, export Firebase, um, export default Firebase, right? And then you would see us using that in Firebase thing around everywhere in all of our other files, right? Like for example, we'd import it here and we'd be like const db is equal to firebase.firestore, right? And we'd be using that thing everywhere. We'd be using it for our auth. This is me showing you what it used to look like version eight, okay? This is me showing you version eight right now. And you would import it, right? You would import it, you would go import blah, blah, blah from Firebase, right? And you would just keep calling it like this. And that used to be like, the way to do things, and that was normal, right? Uh, and if you wanted to make a query, you would do like db.collection, get me all the games, uh, .doc, if you wanted to get a specific game, or you would do something like where, right? Or if you wanted to up add a collection to the games, you would do .add, or you would do .update, or .set. Well, this used to be the old way, all right? So this is the old way. The new way, we don't do that anymore. All right, that's the old way. That way, now, unless you're using the old Firebase, you won't be able to do that way. We want to move over to the new way, okay? So I want to show you what the new way looks like. So it's pretty simple, okay? I'm just going to give you a fast rundown here. So in the new way, what you want to do is instead of doing all of that, what we want to do is we want to do import, okay? And you can just get the specific things you're looking for. So what we can actually do is we can just say, hey, get Firestore, from, and now you can say from Firebase slash Firestore, okay? And I believe if you wanna reduce your file size by like 80% and you don't need to use the on snapshot listener, you know the on snapshot listener that makes your app live the whole time? If you don't need that, then I, I believe, don't quote me on this, look this up, but I think you should be able to do something like slash light, right? And then that should give you a much more reduced file size, okay? I'm just gonna look that up just so I don't I don't screw you uh, with you guys and give you some wrong information. But let's just take a look at this. Import, yes, Firebase slash Firestore Lite, right? And now I'll reduce it. But for those of you who need real-time apps, like you're trying to build a real-time chat application or you're trying to build a real-time chess application, which I'm working on right now, then you don't want to use Lite, all right? You want to just do it like this. But the so the nice thing about this new way of doing it is everything is a function. The bad thing about it, the new way, is there's tons of imports and exports now. So for example, if you wanna be able to get a collection, well, you're gonna have to import a collection at some point. If you wanna be able to um, call your docs, well, you need to import get docs. If you wanna be able to read one specific doc, you need to get doc. If you wanna be able to add a doc, you need to get add doc or set a doc, uh, set doc or update a doc, you need to import update doc, all right? So your imports now look much bigger, 
But again, the benefit is the performance of your app is better because you're not using anything that you don't need. Now, let me show you down here how your code will actually look, right? So if I go back to my app.js, instead of using this object-oriented way of doing things, what you will now instead do is you'll be able to do things like, you'll be able to say set doc, okay? You'll be able to do set doc and you'll be able to call whatever uh, ref you have, right? So for example, I can actually say games ref and I can say db uh, collection, okay? Or what I can actually do is I can actually call the function collection, right? And now I can pass information over to that specific function. So what does that look like? Well, here's what it actually looks like, right? So let me show you. So now I can take, I can pass, or I can even get like a specific doc, okay? So if I wanna get a specific doc, I pass it a database, I pass it the collections I wanna get it from, and then I pass it the ID of that specific document. So let's just say ID one, two, three, okay? This will get me now the specific, uh, the specific reference to one game that I want, okay? That's the new way of doing it. Now, if I wanna be able to get more information out of this, right, I can actually do game snap is equal to whatever game ref was, right? So let me actually show you here, game snap. Okay, and what I can do now is I can say await, and I can say get doc, and I can give it the game ref, like this, okay? So this get doc, the only, again, like I said, the tricky thing is you you wanna import this get doc from your uh, Firebase, okay? That's the only thing that you wanna do. So what does that import look like? It'll just look like this. You'll import and you'll say get doc from your Firebase file that you created, okay? Just like that. And now this will get you the specific doc. Now, if you wanna get the data, that's really, really simple at this point, right? So for example, Let's go here, if I wanna get the data, I can actually just do this, right? Game is gamesnap.data, and this will return to me actually an array, okay? This will actually give me back something that is usable, that I can actually do things with, all right? Let me see if you guys got comments coming in. Uh, yes, sir, Kazi with that new look, that's right. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, nice, nice having you guys on here, by the way, on the live. So just remember, everything now is a function. So whatever things you wanna do, they are a function. I wanna show you another function that's also useful for you. Like if what if you wanna update a document, right? So what you wanna do for that is you wanna do set doc. You wanna give it the reference of the game that you wanna pass it. Okay, then you can update your fields in the game. So it's like game field uh, one, value one, whatever, right? This is what you're just passing it. And now you can pass whether you want merge to be true or false. And this is how you would actually run that query, okay? And the last one I wanna show you, which is also really important, is a lot of you guys wanna use on snapshot listener. So how you actually use on snapshot listener with this is like this. So you'll call on snapshot. Then on snapshot now, it's just a function, you guys. It's not like an object-oriented programming, period, 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 you know, none of that, like chaining all the dots together. It's not like that anymore. On snapshot is just a, uh, is just a function now, okay? So on snapshot might take a document or a collection, for example, that you, wanna, that you wanna listen to, and then it'll take a callback function, all right? So on snapshot is just that. So how do we give it like a specific document? right, I can just do this, I can do doc db, right, and then give like my ID of one, two, three. So this will give my on snapshot like a specific document to listen to, right? I can also just pass it that game ref, that should be equivalent. There's this game ref right here. And then the callback function is like, what do you now wanna do with this information, right? So for example, now what I can do is now I can actually call other things. So I can do things like, um, this is a code, this is some of the code that I already have written, but um, I'll try to like simplify it for you guys here, right? So now I'm getting the doc, right? And then I'm just reading from that, from that doc, that's it, doc.data, doc.data. 
So this is how your new on snapshot listener would actually look. We got people saying, this is nice. We got Finn Techery saying, wow, a lot of changes, tree shaking. Uh, yeah. So the tree shaking is a real thing. It makes your app a lot faster, right? Thing goddamn runs fast. And this is a much more functional programming approach in the start. If you've been using Firebase the old way, it will feel slightly weird. But in the long run, I feel, I feel honestly more at home with this kind of already because those long weird chains, they were always annoying to look at, right? Like db.collections, dot where, dot something, dot something, dot then, snapshot, dot docs, I'm at. This looks a lot more normal, readable. Also, I like that on snapshot is just a function, right? Get yeah, doc is just a function. Um, all of these are like functions. But just one thing, right, is like now you have you do have to do set doc, right? And every function that I'm using here on snapshot, right? And if I go back to my Firebase, I now have to export all of these. So that's something you do have to remember. So like I have to do export. I'm not going to do Firebase, but like set doc, export, update doc, export collection, get Firestore, add doc. So bunch of imports, bunch of named exports, then bunch of name imports in the files that you want to use it. So yes, I get that that is a little bit annoying, but um, but yeah, like something you kind of got to get used to because I want you guys to be able to move on and start using version nine of the Firebase and not be stuck using version uh, eight or seven because at some point it's going to start to get deprecated. You're going to need to move on anyway and you're going to regret that you didn't learn it now. Um you know, or, or back then, and you'll have to learn it at a much later point. So I'd rather you have a competitive edge. I'd rather you be ahead of the field. And even if it seems a little intimidating or a little confusing right now, I wanted to show this to you so that you could get ahead, that you could actually get a head start and you could be ahead of where maybe some of your peers are. So hopefully I thought you, you uh, I hope you thought this was entertaining, valuable, tiny micro lesson, decided to just do it live. And uh, just let me know, did you enjoy this? Did you not enjoy this? In either case, hopefully you smash that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. I love your beautiful face. This is Ron Jeremy, I mean, Rafa Kazi. I'll see you in the next video.